Okay, so we've learned a little bit about variables and we've learned um, about different uh, uh, sensors. And so now we're gonna kind of put some stuff together and make a countdown timer. So I'm gonna come here to new project and I'm gonna call this countdown timer. Now the first thing we're gonna do when this loads up, sorry, the first thing we're gonna do when this loads up is we need to create a variable. Again, variables are like little containers that are going to hold and do things with the code, store the code that we want to do and manipulate. So when I go into this variable, I'm gonna call this one in a countdown timer, seconds. That, and you'll see these three options pop up, seconds, set seconds to, and change seconds. I believe we did something similar in the uh, Magic 8-Ball for those of you who did that. Okay, so this first one says set seconds to zero. We want to do that. And when we start this code, we want to set the seconds uh, to zero. Okay, now, do we really want that to be zero? No, we want to count down. So we want to start our code at whatever number we're going to do our countdown at. I'm going to just do 10. So we'll set our seconds to 10, um, to 10. Now, we want to determine what's going to happen um, or how we're going to count down. So we're going to start our timer, I think, with a button. You could do it with a shake. You could do it with a tilt. Whatever you want to do, you're, you're familiar with all those. We're just going to do a button. Now, we want to say that while... The seconds are counting down. So as it's over 10, just keep dropping it down one by one by one. So we're going to do something called a while loop. And what a while loop does, it says while some condition is happening, while something very specific is going on, do a task. So in this case, we want it to say while the seconds are more than zero, count them down. When it gets to zero, stop your timer. But while it's over it, start your timer down. So we're going to say while our seconds, again, I'm in variables, while our seconds is greater than zero. So to get that one, you got to go to your logic and you'll see this comparisons. While something is greater than is a comparison. So logic comparisons, and I'm just going to replace this true with this. And this says while zero equals zero, this would just continue on endlessly, but we want to do it while our seconds are greater than zero. So if there's time on the clock, count it down. So how do we do that? Well, let's show the number that we have. What number are we showing again? We're showing our seconds. So show the seconds on the micro bit. Pause it for one second, because we're going to count down by seconds. Pause it by one second. We're counting down by seconds. And then after one second goes by, change my seconds. Um, and you could do this two ways. I'm just going to change this simply to negative one. Change my seconds to negative one. Then when it gets to zero, okay, we need we want something to happen. I'm just going to write a string that says time's up, and we're going to put that outside the while loop. So basically, as it's over zero, it runs this code. When it hits zero, it's going to run this code, and I'll just write time's up, or time. I'll let that load up in here. Now when I press A, it'll say 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then as time's up, time's up. So you've made a countdown timer. You've utilized variables. You've utilized a loop, and you've utilized a little bit of logic. So this is our first time that we're getting into some pretty complex um, computer science. But I think this is all something you can do. Happy code.